War Diary Day 546 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Prigozhin, dead, executed in the middle of the day, dying in a, in a fireball. Now, Vladimir Putin's got previous for this. Livadenko, the man who called him a paedophile, he was taken out by a, a poison of mass destruction, polonium-210. Skripal, the man who betrayed him, a GRIU officer who ended up in Salisbury, they tried to take him out with the poison of mass destruction, Novichok. The Russian secret state didn't kill him, but they did kill a perfectly innocent Wiltshire last Dawn Sturgis, God bless her soul. So, what's this mean? I think that Putin is in trouble because Prigozhin was a very effective leader of the Wagner group. He became a bit of a folk hero, a Robin Hood. Yes, he was an oligarch, you know, he was a hot dog sales, salesman who became an oligarch. But essentially, he never lost his touch with the Russian working class. He talked like a, a Russian man of the streets. He acted like one who was physically brave. He's a war criminal and a killer. And the people in his private army are war criminals and killers, no question. But Prigozhin had something in particular over the course of the past year or so, and especially with his victory in Bakhmut, kind of victory, that he won at least some hearts and minds in the far right, in the Russian far right, which is normally Vladimir Putin's core constituency. And so I think the execution of Prigozhin puts Putin in a dangerous place. Now, apparently, um, the Kremlin have issued tonight commiserations for the, for the loss. The crocodile is crying tears. I think it's quite possible that one of um, the Wagner people might have a real go at Putin and the Kremlin over this. Watch this space. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.